Anyway, uh, morning, it's Chris and Emma here. Now, um, Emma, I love these reviews. Mm. Um, I'm confused and scared in a good way. She's brilliant. And this one, reminiscent of early Graham Norton, albeit sexier. Are you ready wow. to chat to a sexier mm. version of Graham Norton? Yeah, Please give absolutely. it up. It's comedian Eleanor Conway. Give her a ripple. Good morning, Eleanor. Morning. That was hot. that was an intense song, wasn't it? That was an intense song. Yeah, very intense. Yeah. Were you raving it there in your flat? Yeah, I was actually. My, yeah. my PJs. Yeah, I was really yeah. loving it. Loving yeah. it. <laughs> Thought you might have been. Yeah. Well, um, well, look, Ella, you got uh, your, your show's going to the Edinburgh Fringe now. It's called Eleanor Conway's Walk of Shame. Is it about mm. a walk of shame? It's about my multiple walks of shame. Yeah. Let's be fair. Love how many? It. How many were talking? <laughs> oh, you'll have to come and see the show to find out. No, oh. um, loads. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 a, it's a story about how, um, how I used to live in Asia and get up to loads of trouble um, and lots of exciting stories about how I'm working for the Chinese mafia and working in... Really? Sort of, yeah, working in sort of naughty areas of the um, movie industry and... Uh, Thank God, we need to break this down, What Eleanor. were you doing? What were you doing for the Chinese mafia? <laughs> well, it's all, it's all in the show. It's all in the show. Oh, you but, tease. Um, I know, mm. I know. I have to. I have mm, to. Mm. Um... But yeah, it's all, it's really exciting. It's really exciting, uh, and it's about how like I all my all my single dating life, and then two years ago I gave up drink and uh, substances, and uh, kind of you know that my story from that moment as well. Right. So it's, so it's I love that. now you did mention adult adult movie industry maybe. <laughs> Porn. Basically. Porn. Yeah. How how yeah. how was that? Bearing in mind it's a breakfast show. Um, I was an editor, so it was. I mean, it was eye-opening. Let's put it that right. way. Right, editor. Oh, so, right, right, okay. okay. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. So you got to watch a lot of. Uh, what well, you got a special phrase for it? Well, Chris invented it. You tell us what it is. Oh yeah, rumpy pumpy cinematography. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, lovely. I like that. Yeah. I like that. Well, if you want to change your CV to rumpy pumpy cinematographer editor, editor. that'd be great. Sorted. Yeah. Do I have to give you a cut or anything like that? Do I have to like give you the heads up? You have to, Pardon. You know, credit. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you saw a lot of that, yeah. I should imagine it becomes quite hypnotic, doesn't it, with all the rhythm after a while if you're editing it? Yeah, but you know what? You kind of get a bit sort of jaded with you. Just like, you're just yeah. like, oh, yeah, just another one. You know, yeah. it's just... Uh, yeah. Oh. I can imagine. Would it not put you off sexy time, watching all that and having to edit it together? <laughs> you obviously don't know me very well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, uh, Eleanor, have you done Edinburgh before? Yeah, I have, but I've done it. I've done it as a host, and I've kind right. of hidden behind formats. But this is like my first sort of debut stand-up hour, and it's sort of yeah. There's some really sad bits, but there's some really ha- oh, like there's so like it's, it's very funny, and it's um. I tell you what, you can, you'll have not seen anything like it at the Fringe before. It's not your usual, mm-hmm. um, it's not your usual sort of like I don't know show. Yeah. Cool, OK. Um, now, rumour has it as well that you've worked, not obviously uh, as a, a stand-up, but also in the music biz as well, and you've interviewed some pretty amazing <laughs> people. Tell us more. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I used to be a music journalist. Um, God, what do you want to know? Who <laughs> was the worst person you ever interviewed? Can we got Ooh. some stories? Come on, let's share. Uh, who was the worst person? Oh, my God. A cert- I'm not going to say his name, but a certain... Uh, DJ on Radio 1, actually. Oh! Why? Yeah. Why? What was so bad about him? Really arrogant. Really yeah. arrogant. Yeah, really arrogant and um, really, yeah, arrogant. Did I say he was arrogant? He was, yeah, is he arrogant? arrogant? Is he a yeah. bit arrogant? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that seems yeah. like we'll have to tell us off there. Yeah. But is it true that you did interview Justin Bieber as well? Did, yes. Yeah, what was he like? He was young. He was mm. about 15 at the time. He was lovely. Yeah. He was really, really lovely and had this guy that just made sure that we didn't ask any rude questions. But, <laughs> you know. What happened there? What happened with him then? It was lovely, wasn't it, 15-year-old? Yeah, I mean, what, yeah, I mean, what happened? I mean, I, you know, I don't know. I don't life. Know. Life happened. Who, who knows what happened? Yeah. My friend Maria, she told, told me that she convinced her 10-year-old daughter yeah. recently for about an hour that Justin Bieber and Miley Cyrus were the same person. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen them together recently? No, no. Maybe that's what's happened to him. Go. Oh, look, and look, look, I know you're previewing your uh, Edinburgh show in loads of places. Where can people come and see so, you? Oh my goodness! Right. Well, I'm I'm at the wonderful Glory tomorrow oh, night. Oh, Johnny Woo's night. Yes, I'm love. I'm in love with him. I know, and me too. Um, 
I bet you are. Um, <laughs> and I'm at, I, so I'm, I'm at Johnny Wood's place at the Glory tomorrow, um, which is the 12th, I believe. And then I'm at the Albany on the 18th. Cool. And then I'm at the Museum of Comedy on the 21st. Lovely. So I would love some London support, basically. If uh, if you'd like to come down, um, tickets can be bought from www.elenaconway.com. Wicked. And I've just noticed this, right? Ooh, Your show yeah. in Edinburgh, it's free of charge. Have I made that up? Yeah, it's free to get in, but it's not free to leave. Right. <laughs> <laughs> there will be a basket. Yeah. Great new yes. ticketing way of doing yeah. it. Yes. I love that. That's great. I'll, I, will be prof- I will be professionally begging uh, during the month of August, great. As, as will thousands of other comics. Yeah. That's good. Well, I suggest going to Eleanor's website, actually, because there is actually a photo of you doing a walk of shame there, looking absolutely gorgeous in a glittery dress. Love it. Yeah. Uh, EleanorConway.com for more information. <laughs> Give her a ripple, please. It's Eleanor Conway. Conway. Thanks, darling. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Now, about this Radio 1 DJ. Right, who was it then? Was he arrogant? Yeah, yeah.